Hello team, welcome back. And today we will see how we can build the images with Docker Compose. So till date in the Docker lectures, we have seen that whenever we was building the Docker image, we need to execute a command Docker build on the console. After that command, we need to pass a couple of parameters. But the limitation is we cannot build the multiple images using the Docker directly without executing the multiple commands. And this thing we can achieve with the help of the Docker Compose. So let's see how we can build the images in the Docker Compose. So what is the normal flow of building the image in the Docker? You need to write down the Docker file. Then you need to execute the Docker build command and the Docker build command will create your Docker image. But whenever you are building the image with the Docker Compose, you just need to execute a single command and the command is Docker hyphen compose build. In the newer version of the Docker, Docker compose build is also a valid command. You don't need to pass the command docker hyphen compose. But in the earlier version of the Docker, the command was docker hyphen compose. So there is a difference in the hyphen of newer version of the Docker and the older version of the Docker. But the command docker hyphen compose is still compatible with the newer version of the Docker. Now it's up to you what syntax you want to use docker hyphen compose or docker compose. But whenever you want to create a new image of your Docker container, you need to execute Docker Compose build. Before the Docker Compose build, we need to create a Compose file. So let's talk about the syntax that what is the syntax we need to define to build the image using the Docker Compose. So let's see what are the Docker Compose build properties. In the Docker Compose, you need to first define the syntax build or context, right? This build or context define either the path of the directory that is containing the Docker file or the URL of the Git repository. So whenever you want to create the Docker image, right, you need the Docker file. Either you are building the Docker container image from the Docker command or from the Docker compose. The Docker file is a must. Docker file must be present on the machine. But with the help of the Docker compose, you can get a benefit. You need to use the build and context. And in the build and context, either you can define the path of your Docker file where your Docker file is present in your local machine or either you can define the Git location, right? The Git location where the Docker file is committed. But make sure the Git location you are defining should be a public, right? Because Docker Compose will not ask for the Git credential at a time of the execution. So the syntax will look like this. You need to define the build within the build. You can define the context and after the context you need to define the path of directory where the Docker file is present. Or if you want to define the Git location, you can define the Git location like this. You are defining the services within the services. You are defining your service name. Then we have the build option and then we have the Git location directly. So this is just a simple git location, but this is the way whenever you are working with the directory or you are working with the git location. This is the way how you can define the path of your docker file in your docker compose.yml. The next syntax is the image, right? Image override the image name is specified in the docker file. So whatever the name you want to declare for your docker image, you can define that name within the image tag and syntax will look like this. We are defining the build defining the context in the context we are defining the period it means in the current directory then we are defining the docker file syntax then we are defining the docker file and we are defining the docker file name in my case the docker file name is docker file dot dev and then we are defining the image over here we are declaring the container image name once you will process this particular docker compose it will create it will create the docker image with the defined name and the defined tag we also have the parameter for the docker file which specify the alternative docker file for the build. So whenever you want to define any specific docker file, right? It may possible that within the current directory where you're defining the context, there is only one docker file, but it may possible in that directory there are the multiple docker files, right? That also possible. So if you have the multiple docker file, then whenever you are building the docker image, you need to define the docker file name. And that name you need to declare within the Docker file context only. The next is the argument. Sometimes we need to pass the build argument to our context, to our build context, right? So these are the dynamic fields. These are the dynamic settings. So whenever you need something dynamic, whenever you are building your image, you need to define that thing within the argument. 
So let's take an example. This is the Docker file. Within the Docker file, you have the argument git commit. This git commit is a argument and then you are executing a command run echo based on the commit and you are defining the variable value. Once you will bake this particular Docker file in your Docker compose, you need to build that Docker file like this. Build context and then you need to define the args. Within the arg, you need to define the multiple argument, whatever the argument you are consuming within your Docker file and you need to define the value itself. That may also be look like this, right? There is no difference in the first one. We are defining the key and value in the form of the map. And in the second one, we are defining in the form of the list. But the syntax will be the same. You need to pass the args. And the last one is the tag. Tag define the list of the tags mapping that must be associated with the build image. Whatever the tags you want to associate with your build image, you can define these tags within the tag section and it will tag your image accordingly. So these are a couple of syntax, whatever the syntax you need to use whenever you are building the image with the help of the Docker Compose. Right now it may seem some confusing, but in the coming lecture we will execute a lab on this. We will create the Docker images using the Docker Compose ML file and it will clear all your confusion. So that's all for the day. Thank you team. See you next time.